You're listening to I-95, Bangor's classic rock station with Jay Stu and Corey in the morning. Jay Stu and Corey rock. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station, 95.7 FM. On this just lovely Tuesday, look at it, everybody. Woo! It's dark, too, man. It's dark. I don't like that. It's oh, oh, well, fun. It's it's. I was talking about this while you were gone a couple times, actually, because uh, that transition is going to be sooner rather than later, isn't it? Oh, it's it's not even the transition. We're already there. Like I this morning, I, it went from like I didn't even have to have my lights on, say a month ago. Which I, mm. look, I, everybody knows you can't stop the seasons. I'm not that stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it was like a month ago. I was like didn't even need them. But just put them on yeah. as a courtesy to other cars, mostly, you know? And then it got so that I, I had to click them on once in a while. And now I'm up to, like, high beams all the way to work. Oh, man. You know? Especially on a day like this where it's super just bleh. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, so I drove one dark. place yesterday, and, I, and it was in the afternoon. And it wasn't, it was before 4 p.m. And I had to have the lights on. And I thought, oh, oh, boy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not. Come uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah, the days are not getting any longer at all. There's no, <laughs> there's no question about that. That won't yeah. happen until you know December twenty second or whatever, the day after the the solstice will. Uh, and then will I start thought about longer. that because now all the uh, it's like a hundred and something days until Christmas memes are popping up, and I'm like, sure. no, I'm not ready. I am not ready. Nah, I wasn't you- ready last year because I was in the hospital for that stint with that stupid uh, double tonsillitis, but I'm really not ready this year because I don't feel like I've caught up from last year. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, pay, I pay no attention until... The only time I care about Christmas is as soon as everybody starts playing Christmas music. Then, I'm, then, yeah. then I jump on board. I know you. Then I'm you, like, all right, fan. it's Christmas. Let's do this. Before that, I'm like... Mm. But then on the other hand, I want to keep the tree up till like March. Yeah. So, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. My aunt has, she just calls it like a holiday tree Mm -hmm. and she switches it out. Like instead, she'll put like, instead of putting Easter decorations in the window, she puts them on her tree. You know, I I love that. There are a couple of people I know that do that. It's like, hey, all right, you do you. I I don't have the room in my house. Like once Christmas (laughs) is done and I can get that thing saran wrapped and brought downstairs. I'm like, I need the space. I need the space for sitting because all my kids keep getting bigger. Go figure. You know what I want to get you for Christmas some year just for that purpose is is get you the special handles that you go dunk, dunk, on either side of the saran wrap. They make it like for in warehouses for when they pack pallets. Oh, really? And you can just basically walk in a circle and you just hold on to it. You don't have to burn your fingers off with the, yeah. the plastic Because it is kind of a pain in the ass to saran wrap that fake tree, I'll tell you. It's oh, funny. Yeah. It still cracks me up that that's what happens. And every time I go down to the basement to get stuff, I'm like, yep, there you are, tree. How you doing? It's not getting dusty. Save time, though. Yeah, whatever. I don't do anything. I'm not allowed to decorate the tree anyway, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Who's in the? Yeah. What do we got today in the matchup here? What's well, uh, we got? Uh, like a 1980s uh, slumber party fest going on. We got the sleeping bag and the peanut butter party fest. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Jake Giles and ZZ Top. It's I true. No, I had no idea we were cre- creating this soundtrack for a slumber party. Well, it's not so much a soundtrack. It's just what you have at a slumber party. I don't know. Oh. I always had sleeping bags and then something peanut buttery. Gotcha. So I feel like... I was waiting for us to find a way to turn this into like a Stephen King movie. You know, right, it's just like... what you want with it. Sleepover from hell. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But uh, instead, we'll just uh, make it a little morning music matchup. All right, we'll get yes, them in. there you go. We got you up over at the uh, I-95 Facebook page, 991 Do you have a sleepover here. from hell party, like a party story? No. Oh, I do. Of Go course you do. Back. You're a girl. <laughs> you know, that, that just goes without saying. Uh, no, no, I have no, uh, I have no sad tales. I'm sure we'll hear yours shortly, though, and, and you probably... It's not have, so much sad. You it's probably an, have an, 10. No, well, No. Maybe. Yeah. But I have one that's in, in particular that sticks out. So. All right. We'll get to that in a bit. Stay right here. Let's vote. <clears throat> I-95. Jace 2 and Corey Bangor's classic rock station at 95.7 FM. Apparently, we have a slumber party battle going on, everybody. We're going to have oh, a pillow yeah. fight any minute. Yeah, we do. It's, Go ahead. Uh, I dare you to braid my hair. Bag or Jake Giles. <laughs> 
for the peanut butter. Uh, so the, I think it was one of the very first slumber parties I ever went to. <clears throat> Excuse me. There were like four of us, and we had dared each other to stay awake. But it was right around the time that the movie, The Burbs. I mean, I was young, like dared 10, each 11. other to stay awake. I dared whole, you to like stay awake. Like the whole night, right? <laughs> Uh, maybe there were more of us. I can't remember. I just remember being that, that was like my introduction to why slumber parties sucked because I have no problem staying awake ever. Yeah. Always the last one awake. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that like when everyone else goes to bed, everything bad that's going to happen is going to happen. Right. So the burbs had just come out and everybody for the most part watched the first like, you know, two thirds of it and then kind of fell asleep. And I'm standing there like, watching it and it gets weirder and weirder i don't know if it's been a minute since you've seen uh, the burbs but... i don't know if i've ever seen it at first <gasps> okay, i thought Tom you Hanks. said at first i thought you said the birds like the no. alfred hitchcock movie and i was like oh no, well like, yeah like that... the burbs like tom hanks and and the people who move in and there's a, this possibility that they're bad guys who've killed a bunch of people in their skull Maybe at one I've point their skulls their skulls a bunch of them on the screen and i'm sitting there as like a 10 year old like what the crap because, you know, parents have gone to bed. Everybody else has gone to bed. I'm just, I'm full of sugar and fear. Yeah. And that's me. And that was my, the, 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 my the, first the, introduction to why 35 years sucked. later, that's still yep. you. <laughs> <laughs> full of sugar and fear. <laughs> yep. That, right. that, that, uh, that slumber party set the tone for the rest of your life, I'm pretty sure uh, is what the happened. Rest of it. They all woke up the next day and they were like, oh my God, what did we miss? And I'm still awake. Like, everything. You missed everything. It was awful. I went home. I think I slept probably like 10 hours in, in the comfort and safety of my own bed, of course, where the burbs were not. But, yeah, you know, I can't know. rightfully say I remember like the first time I stayed up all night, but it certainly wasn't on a dare. I, 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 I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it, I, it, it was likely not the first time I had ever stayed up all night as well. Probably, but probably. it was just like, oh, a dare? I can do this, which is dumb. Don't dare me to do things because the stupid part of my brain goes, yeah, you can do this. And then the smart part goes, it just sits down and it's like, all right, let's let's see what mayhem can come of this. Sure. Because this is bad. So what you're saying is your smart part of your brain is not that smart. It just sits down when a dare is involved. Okay. I'm know, not, every I'm not, other time, correction, it tries real hard. I'm not saying you're dumb. But the smart part of your brain obviously is easily stifled by the screw it, let's do this, hold my beer part of your brain. <laughs> so that is my, yes, that is my life. <laughs> yeah. so. Whereas I'm the yeah. guy that, like, you can call me every name in the book. Like, my friends would do all this dumb stuff and get hurt. Oh, you haven't constantly. done dumb stuff? Come oh, on. No, 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 no. Plenty, plenty. But at the same time, if I feared something, like, I just didn't do it. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm a chicken. Yeah. Woo, what are you going to do? You know, like, <laughs> I just, I was just like, hey, I'm not going to go break my leg. I, I would do other things that were just as stupid. Mm. You know what I mean? But, but if I didn't want to do it, I didn't do it. Well, I mean, if nobody's ever dared me to break my leg, and I don't think I would have probably followed through with well, that one. But stay up on Yeah, I got that. Dudes don't dare. Like, take these two guys in high school, right? They, I was supposed to be in on this. There was the, we were all at some party, right? And these dudes crawled over the railing of the deck and were still had their toes on it like an Olympic diver, right? And they were holding on to it. They had their hands straight up. Uh-huh. And they decided they were going to drop down and catch themselves. <laughs> right? <laughs> and they're like, come on, yeah. do it, do it. Come on, you chicken. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, I'm not stupid enough to do that, bro. I know exactly what's going to happen. Sure enough. They're flat on their palms. They drop down to catch themselves and just let go. One of them broke their ankle when they hit the ground because the deck wow. was like, you know, 15 feet in the air or whatever. So they had to fall, you know, from the bottom of their feet to the ground was a good, you know, 10 feet. So yep. it's just like, nope, not going to participate in your stupidry. I'm just going to hang out over here and point and laugh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. th- this is your last chance to get your votes in for this battle. Oh my god, so it's such a slaughter! This. It's not even funny. There's oh, one I saw. vote for peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw. What? <laughs> I, I do love that everybody's ready to like fully '80s ZZ Top out. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm psyched for that. But uh, I think we know who the winner is going to be. We'll see. Uh, this is just like I'm yesterday. <laughs> we'll just see Jay Kyle's on Friday. We'll just yeah, catch we'll up just, with you there. We'll just go ahead and say goodbye to Jay right now. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy that. Hang out there with her buddy Don Henley. The two you can. <laughs> Have some slumber party battles. Yeah. (laughs) ZZ Top on the way. I-95.
I-95, J. Stu and Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station. See, whenever I hear that album and I hear Eliminator, I always wonder, like, what was going through Frank Beard's mind, the drummer? Because there is not a real drum on either of those records. It's pretty tracked, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's a drum machine all the way. Some producer sat there going, do 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 all right, let's loop that. You know, <laughs> and that's how that went down. Well, maybe he needed a snack break. I don't know. For maybe a whole, they took for a, two a, whole a records. really long cigarette break and was like, all right, I'm back. What I miss? I mean, I know he, he did suffer pretty hard with a, a drug problem for a while. That may have, and maybe that was when he was getting himself cleaned up or you know, something like that was during that period. You know, and, and good on him. I know he did get, eventually get over his, his drug problem. Huh. So, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that was then when he was sorting all that out. But they were still touring on both those records. Well, you know, so it's just like... they made it super easy for him. They were like, all right, keep up. But if you can't, don't worry, buddy. You got the B team. It's <laughs> recorded the, for you. I got Roland right over here, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, Roland is a drum machine, by the way. Yeah, I got, I got that. No, I, I got that. Yeah, I'm just telling everybody. Oh, I'm okay. telling everybody. There's, there's five people out there going, yeah, no duff, stupid. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of people going, who's Roland? <laughs> so you get the idea. Um, well, spe- <laughs> it's completely random, but speaking to that. So I have this part of my mattress that is now refusing. It's the top left corner to uh, to stay. But mostly because my kids come flying in at like high speed and they like to flop on my bed. It's their favorite thing to do. Yeah. So I have now I have this like part of the mattress that pops up and it's like the top the mattress topper part. And I jokingly. <laughs> jokingly said to them the other day oh you guys keep bothering warner the corner over there he keeps popping up and so my youngest thought warner that was a real person mm. They're like mom's in bed with warner who's warner and i was like oh my god here we go he's my boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> she's like mom who's this warner guy i'm like mom honey it's the corner of the mattress it's warner the corner she goes but where is he i'm like it's the corner of the mattress <laughs> Like she's so confused as so she goes out and tells all of her siblings. When they call and come in. They're like, who's Warner, Mom? I'm like, it's the corner of the mattress. I, I think it's about it's time you, you tell them the truth. Yeah, well. Which is. No, no, that, that's it. Mommy has an imaginary boyfriend. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> no, I just, you know, in that moment. Mommy can't like, trap oh, a real one for herself. Oh, so she has oh, an imaginary we one. Here we go. And this is why I hate you. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. But it was really funny to see like their expressions for a minute because I didn't realize that. To now, it's like a joke. She'll come in, she'll go, oh, do you need me to tuck Warner in? I'm like, yeah, could you tuck Warner in? That'd be great. Nice. Stop flopping on my bed. But yeah, I can't it, imagine when they go to school how that's going to look. Mom's in bed with Warner. The same it's thing the happens. Corner. It's the corner. It happens in our house, but it's the dog. Uh, he, and, and why, I don't know. He only goes to my wife's side of the bed. Like, if I'm playing drums downstairs, his, his go-to spot is to hop up on our bed because it's kind of the furthest away, and, mm. you know, it, it, because he's on the bed, it won't vibrate or anything like that. And then, and then he goes right to sleep. It's no big deal. I mean, we had a doggy cam for a long time when we first got him, and I'd watch him just, like, <sighs> pass mm-hmm. out while I'm playing drums. So he's not traumatized. But just the same, he'll, go, he'll jump up on the bed, go over to Chris's side, and trash it. Just <laughs> trash it, like pull the covers out, wind around, like, and, and like barricades himself <clears throat> into this little like cocoon area. But it's like only on her side. You know, but but if he jumps up on the bed at night, he'll only sleep over on my side. It's it, he's a nut. He's I think he's a he little. He knows crazy. you're the alpha in the bed. That's that's probably true. I mean, he's like she's got the mater- I don't know. She's got some feminine maternal vibe going on. So he's like, I can screw this up, and she's not going to hurt me. But if I touch that guy, he's oh, sticks. that's not true. He knows I'm a big softy, especially when it comes to him. I don't I punish don't that dog for anything. I know you don't. <laughs> you would sp- specially prepare food for that that sweet animal. That's right. Go out of your way. He's like a fur baby. I get it. Hell yeah. Yeah. I got I got well, no I shame on that one. Um, I don't know why he doesn't wreck your stuff. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I feel like that's not an I issue. I will literally send Case two pictures. I'll be like, wow, look what he did. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, when we come back next hour, I don't know. We're just going to get to stuff later on this morning. Two oh, for Tuesday. I didn't know there was a free haunted rides. cave. Did you read that? Uh, no. We're going to we'll, talk about that. We'll talk about that's haunted at caves. Acadia. At Acadia. At Acadia. It's a portal to hell.
Well, that doesn't That's surprise what they said. me. <laughs> That's yeah. what a lot of people say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> stay right here. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station. Thank you. Yes. Good night. Yes. All right. Sweet. Here we are. Now, did uh, you find was... the stupid haunted cave stuff? Like, what's going yeah. on here? What the heck? Uh, I had to look for a little bit because I had accidentally closed out of it. But no. apparently, and I was unaware of that, that uh, this, this was a place. And now I don't want to go there. Uh, other people might, but I don't. It used, it used to be clearly marked on the map as, as Devil's Oven at Acadia National Park. Sure. But now it's not so much, and you, I guess you have to kayak to get there. And uh, oh, the, if the I deal is this: kayak to get there. Screw that. <laughs> Jeez. Well, it's not like a place that you could accidentally hike to. You like there's effort put into getting to this particular. I spot. would purposefully hike to it, but I'm not going to get in a kayak in the ocean, especially. Well, and yes, there's that. But apparently, according to urban legend, uh, behind this devil's oven place, uh, it is a portal to the underworld. That's sure. What they say, uh, it used to be a place where, as an ancient ritual, people were buried alive and then basically sucked further in, into the cave <laughs> due to the underworld entities <laughs> and also the water. Uh, it, sure, uh-huh. sure. Uh, and that people have this is I, I quote multiple documented reports from people that they have seen flashing lights that skew red coming from the cave. I'm sure they have. Yeah. That stuff happened. So, <laughs> look the, over, with the life I've led Acadia. over these years. If it is indeed a portal to hell, like I'm going to show up, they're going to be like, Rah! "Oh, oh, all right." What's up, Jay Steele? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How's that work you're doing? Yeah, they're like, "Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you've seen it all. Yeah. Come, come, no surprises here, but come on, you know, come on in." Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm still not going to go looking for this place. I'm, I'm glad to know that it's there for the sheer purpose of like now I know to avoid all the Katie. <laughs> Sure. Well, you've, you've got the legit fear of God in you. And I, and I don't mean mm-hmm. that as an insult. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I would look for that place actively. I'm just saying, because I would be so curious. I'd be like, all right, show me hell. Cause, you know, like, I feel like I've, I've lived through it, so I don't yeah. need to go looking for it. Well, uh, that's the, you know, There might be a portal under my house. Who knows? <laughs> many religions believe that there's no such thing and that we're already here. Yeah, well, and that that going to heaven, quote unquote, is escaping. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like that, that's the way I prefer to look at it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like trust me, enough bad st- stuff happens all the time right oh, here on this mortal coil that I yeah. can't believe it could get much worse. Unless you want to get into like horror movie crap, which then no, I, I don't. You know, I don't want to get into that. Not at I all. know you were scared of the burbs. I haven't even seen it, but I know hey, it's listen, not a movie you're supposed to be scared of. <laughs> it was uh, for my ten year old brain again. Like I was convinced. Uh, listen, I I was the only one in my family that didn't tan. I was always perpetually yeah. white. Right, had the really dark hair. In my brain, I was like, I'm really a vampire in the wrong family, and they're just gonna come get me at some point in time. So I'm just gonna wait here. I didn't do the goth thing for the sake of doing the goth thing. It's sure. just all I had. <laughs> And yeah. so some of my, my kids' friends are like, is your mom goth? And they're like, no, she's just yes. really white. My mom, is true. <laughs> you should tell them that, that she is. You should be like, yeah. oh, she is totally. Yeah, her house she's is goth black. She sleeps she's with a guy named cat. Warner in the corner. <laughs> yes. Her husband's name is Cersei. Cersei yeah. Nightshade. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So that's I, I now I just want to stay the hell away from there. No nope, I mean, thanks. You got nope, nope. I know you remember too, but it's like I saw Amityville Horror in theaters at five. I know. So you it's were just like traumatized early. I get it. Going going to find this is just like oh that's cool. Look at that. That's hell. That's so cool. <laughs> Let me splash a little water in there. Cool you off. <laughs> that's what I would do. Is I'd pull up in a kayak, which we know I'd never get in a kayak anyway. Too much sport. And I would just take the paddle and I'd be like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'd just be splashing it. Yeah. I'd just be making little steam bombs like pss, 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 yep. the whole time. That's what I would do. No. Just not because I'm tough, but because I'm stupid. There's so. that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. No argument here. So. All right. Uh, we've got plenty to get to this morning that doesn't involve opening gateways to hell, but. Uh, well, that's good. But do they? 
I don't know. I we'll mean, find out. Chris Jericho wants to take a bunch of people out into the middle of the ocean and rock True. them. Could go right through the Bermuda Triangle. We have no idea. Mm-hmm. All right, that code word is coming up later on this morning, so stay right here. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station, 95.7 FM. So, I love this stuff because Maine, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, whether you know it or not, last night was supposed to be a super moon because last night was the full moon. I was like, full. like a blue moon though, right? Uh, there is a blue moon this month, but I believe technically that doesn't show up until the end of the month. Okay. Because a I blue moon is when you... Was, or today was like... A blue moon is when you have to- two full moons in one month. So I don't know oh. if they're both blue moons or if the second one is. I don't know how that works. Okay. But uh, as usual, if you take a quick look at the forecast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guess saw what nothing we're not yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're, I'm, yeah well, I'm you know, what's, there. you know, what's interesting, though, is I get up in the middle of the night to make my uh, nightly trip to the relief room. As uh, my fifth grade math teacher used to call it, Don Edinger, God rest his soul. There's no way he can be alive in Fies. He's like 100. But anyway, (laughs) great guy. One of my favorite teachers I ever had. But uh, when I went in, I noticed it was raining, but the sky was still super bright. Like the clouds were almost kind of opaque. You know, it's like the clouds were lightly glowing and it had to be that giant moon above them. Not that the moon is actually bigger, but, you know, you know. No, but this, yeah, it feels like there's more light coming through for that reason. Sure. Oh, sure. Well, the the super moon, the, the whole super moon thing is like when the Earth's orbit and the moon's orbit, like, reach the point where they're closest together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it does look bigger and it is brighter. It can be like 30% brighter or something like that. So, so. it was just like, it was weird to have it rain and still have it look kind of like spooky glow. You're just saying basically glow. that you took a glow tinkle is what you're saying. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. Why not? If you're gonna, if you're gonna, mm-hmm. you know, make a science project out of every time you go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, just don't dissect anything. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 no. Well, that's cool, and not also because I feel like we've been host. We were po- host out of the Percy. It's like, I, yep. I wanted to see those, and they didn't really. Uh, there is good news yeah. now. The supermoon thing, just the way this orbital stuff works, we have one for the next. Like right up through November, every full moon is pretty much a super moon right up through November. Oh, really? Yep. And then the one in October, in particular, much like say I think it was 2014, 15, we had a super moon also at the same time as a lunar eclipse. So that turned out to be a really fantastic evening of sky viewing. Okay. So maybe we'll have some more of that. I don't know, or, or they, we won't you know, because and we'll they get say memes. Acadia is like the best place to go look at that stuff. So as long as you stay the heck away from the devil's oven, I feel like maybe all that's where the moon you. comes from and goes to. Oh my God, we figured it out. That's yep. it. I knew it. I knew get we were going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my moon boat. We're going to take off. <laughs> yep. Okay. My lunatic canoe. <laughs> I feel like the, yep. There we go. That we're we're vastly missing an opportunity there. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a ton of stuff about super moons and blue moons and stuff like that. That is up at i ninety five rocks dot com or the app. Uh, we also have the forecast. Patrick Osborne going to tell us all about. Uh, <laughs> that's another thing that depresses me about the weather. Do you notice today the high is not even going to get to seventy? He mentions seventy. He goes fifty, sixties, maybe seventy. Yeah, it says highs in the 60s here. Tomorrow it says highs in the 60s. When's the last time we had highs in the 60s? I know. Well, that was that was like <sighs> the nighttime temp for a long time. And I was like, that's really a high for us a lot of times. Pretty much so. so. It's just like, ugh, fall is... It's is, is, right there. It's, it's, it's like trying to sit down beside me on the bench and I keep putting tacks under its butt. So hopefully I can yep. keep that up for a little while longer. <laughs> anyway, all right, stay right here. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station, 95.7 FM, Two's gray morning. Yes. No, it's not gray. No. In front of my house, which is green right now, went on vacation. I told you I had the little pumpkin patches that were here or there. That thing is taking over my driveway, and I looked yesterday. There are actually pumpkins on there. I'm telling you, put a little fence around it. 
That's what you said. I don't have yep. a little fence to put around it. I'm, then I'm just not have mulling. your children stand outside around it all night long. Dare them to stay up all night. <laughs> And have them, like, do children well, of the corn gatherings around your pumpkins. You know what I mean? Creep out do, your neighbors. They're, they're so enamored with, we have one pumpkin that's probably, like, I would I would say maybe four inches in diameter. It's not very big. But it's, it's white because it was a white pumpkin that we chucked. So all of these are going to be, like, unusually cool-looking white ones. And uh, there are the buds for, like, at least four or five others. There's... Tons of flowers, but only the buds for like yeah. four or five other pumpkins. So we'll, we'll see what that leads to. But they're so... I had to go out yesterday and make sure that the poop was scooped in the front yard because they they just want the path that they keep making to check these things out. Yeah. It's adorable. They're all excited. We grew one pepper out front once because I have mostly clay in the front yard. So it's not very It's amazing that you've got these pumpkins growing at all. I know. And it's not just the patch in the front, which is enormous. I had to go basically like redirect it so the dog had a place to go to the bathroom. But there's a couple of patches on the side, too. And I, I'm just looking at this like, this is what Nomo May was for me. It just made like great soil, apparently. Because never be. does anything grow there except for weeds. Well, I mean. And now it's like. Pumpkins. I, uh, I, but I, to be honest, the blossoms are also edible. Oh, really? Yeah, you can cut them off. You stuff them full of, like, delicious cheeses, you know, like 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 ricotta or goat cheese or something like that, and then you batter them and fry them. Yeah, I'm not safe with frying anything. I, I believe like that. A, I believe I don't, that. I don't tempt fate by putting a bunch of oil on my stove. Yeah, I don't tempt fate by cooking food. <laughs> 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 I feed my children sticks. No, that's not true. <laughs> I try and crock pot it. I make a couple of good things. My mom, my, my daughter's always like, Mom, why do you always say you're a bad cook? I like your food. I'm like, well, because I know my limits. And I feel like bacon is pushing the envelope. Yeah. You're like, no, 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 no. Mrs. Stouffer is a good cook. Mommy, not so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, they're alive still. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. So. Yep. Well, congrats yep. to your pumpkins. But seriously, if you, don't, if you don't find a way to protect them, the raccoons are going to take them away. Oh, that's all right. My kids and it will is bark at those guys. the cutest thing you've ever seen, though. Like, I didn't actually see the raccoons steal one of the pumpkins that I tried to grow. But what I did find about 15, 20 feet away was where he had put the pumpkin, he, she, had obviously put the pumpkin on a log and meticulously got it open and scooped out the inside and ate it. Like, if you ever watch raccoons eat, they're the most mm -hmm. meticulous eaters. It's weird. You know, like the, if they have an opportunity, like if there's water nearby, they'll take it and wash it before they really? eat it. Oh, yeah, they're nuts. There's a great video online you can see where somebody keeps feeding a raccoon uh, cotton candy and the raccoon takes it to the water to wash it and it just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And then you have a frustrated raccoon, which oh, is yeah. what everybody wants. Yeah. But he, he sugared like, up. We had like a log in our yard and literally the thing set it there like a little table and opened it up and ate the insides and left the left the pumpkin well, shell. Aw. So I was like, oh, I can't be too mad because that's nature. See, I yeah. have groundhogs that live around and I'm waiting for them to get into it and I'm, I'm going to be Same upset. thing. Yeah. 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 You could train the groundhogs maybe. To be like lookouts for the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They could be your, your spotters. Mm -hmm. They'd be... I like... Every I time like something goes... <laughs> I don't think I have the skills, but I like... I. We could write a children's book about this. Yeah. And those aren't the noises they make. I heard groundhogs screaming one day, and it was the most unsettling thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, that's not just a meme? Oh, no. They're, they're like, oh, I can't even imitate the sound. They sound like, like terror is what they sound like. Like fainting goats? Oh, not even. They, they sound like screaming horror movie starlets is what they oh, sound okay. like. Well, yeah, it's terrible. Awesome. They'll blend right in with my crew. It's good. They'll sound just like your kids. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, we still got plenty to go. Stay with us.